Hey, hi. Uh -oh. Trapped the cords between the battle station and the couch. It's not going to help anybody. Uh, I haven't really looked at my sound levels. This seems okay. If I get excited, try and lean back from it a little bit. I'm using a different microphone, but not my new microphone. New microphone's not here yet, because I only ordered it yesterday. I'm hoping it's good. Oh, I've got too much stuff. Go ahead and make it so people can see what I'm doing. As I... What am I doing? Selling stuff I don't need. Oh. 19% chance of reloading your weapon after seizing an enemy? That's pretty neat. I don't know if I want them to have just like a lot of s more space for this or I don't know I'm not really using too many of these give me 500 of those thank you very much the personal mods I don't know how I feel about the personal mods I guess maybe that's what I'm trying to figure out who knows not me Start this in just a minute. Oh gosh, I need so much more. Okay, so. Hi, Reberkey. Hi, Firefox. Hi, Fish. Let's play a video game. Let's uh. I'm just I'm a little paranoid about my my mic stuff. Yep, I think I think if we're good, I think everything's good. I'm going back in. I think we're good. I think everything's fine. Let's play a game. Hello everyone and welcome to Start to Finish for Control. My name is Matt Boyer. This is episode 24. Inside this door is the active investigations. I also have cool tips on what I should do regarding learning more about this stuff. We're going to do that later. Right now, I think... What I need to do, so my scary friend took off through up here. Now I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I'm gonna check it out real quick. Okay, that was just where my scary friend took off. Um, elevator? I don't think I see any other ways out of here. Let's go in the elevator. To the elevator! Take me up. Man, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't <laughs> scare me like that. <laughs> if you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. Altered. No word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? <laughs> Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You can wrap them around <laughs> I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right. Okay. Well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have gotten very far. Let's go full 
flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the pen off the Alright, this is starting to pick up a little bit. Like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want to brag. <laughs> right. Every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's Oh, he's chatty. Like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. I don't mind it. If it is a race though. He's just I real chatty. He's a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years. Oh my gosh, he's still going. Pretty tense or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just you know, <laughs> people talk. Not me though. I keep my nose <laughs> Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just talk forever. <laughs> so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at seven o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the fifth. Oh, I don't want to stop. I don't. She had a couple of kids. I'm a big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment, and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm going to have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's mealtimes. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay him back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back. <laughs> Lexton, I'll come back, buddy. I'll come back. Okay. That's, that's good. I've half expected that one to turn on. Okay, uh, let's just make our little circuit of the area. I think this was Fra Mauro. Moro. Uh, clearly, we're going to France, and we're going to find Moro Ranallo, former wrestling commentator. There, he's been altered in an AWE, and. It's really unfortunate, but we're here to help. Yes, I did go through the one I thought I was going through. Alright. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Hi. Oh. Oh gosh. Goodness. That was a large They were in the bathroom. They were angry people in the bathroom. At me. Oh, I need a light. Ew. Ew. Hmm. Oh. Here's one. Yay. Excuse me. This is mine. Thank you, Light. All right, we've got a loading bay coming up. Oh, you were closer than I thought you were. Uh oh. 
You're with me. You're with me. You're with me. Ooh. That went okay. What's going on over here? Hey. Thank you. I win. I'm so good at games. The lighting is is nice. It's over here. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses the arcade cabinet's effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade game cabinets, originally designed for the games Shoom and Shoom 2, Kulgar's Revenge. The games are manufactured by Bonko Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s, no other Shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state, as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. Oh, that seems healthy. Good and normal. Recommended. Yay! Got anything else I can shine this on? I feel like this light only lasts a certain amount of time. That looks broken. Ah, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come here. I need you. I need you over here. Big red button. Oh, did it go out? Well, I definitely don't want to jump down into that. Uh oh. Okay, I'm all right. Okay. Now I'm out here, wherever here is. Oh, here's something I want. A lot of control points. I like them. Makes getting around a lot more convenient. Uh-oh, that's broken. Let's go over to one of these other ones. Uh, that's bad. Is there one over here that's, like, actually functional? I have a battery. I need to use it. Ah, yes. Good. Hmm. What's this button do? Bye. That didn't do much at all. Come back to me. Obviously, there's a reason to do this. I just don't know what it is yet. Uh... Oh! 
I see what it is. I am able to pull that out. That's what I need to do. I'm going to do this. Okay, stop. Ha ha! Yay, I did it. Alright, now there's treasure over here, so I want to do this one too. Come here, you. This one might need to get all the way to the end. That seems good. That seems good. Yeah! Take that, darkness. I believe in a thing called love. Not you. Me. To lower access. Oh, good. Convenient. A light. Convenient. A light. Oh. My light. Uh oh. Hey. That looks breakable. What's in here? I don't know. No, you need to stay on, lights. Ah! Ah! Oh no 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 Ah Ah I don't even know which way I'm going. I need to get past it. I need to get past it. I need to get past it. Ah! It's actually freaking me out a little bit. Oh, I don't like that it's making sounds. I have this, this is mine, and I don't know where it goes. I need to find a place for this battery. I have a battery, and I'm really not afraid to use it. I just don't know where. I just don't know where. Oh, it sees me. It's out there. I don't want to play Amnesia. Where do I go? The battery is over there. Then I probably need to go somewhere else. Ah! Help! Okay, just give it a minute. We'll figure out where this goes. Ow! I haven't seen anywhere to put this. Where would it go? Where would it go? 
I don't take this. Do I take this back upstairs? I don't take this back upstairs, do I? No. I'm not actually here. I'm not actually here. You're hurting me, and I don't like it. Do I take this back upstairs? I take it forward. It says forward. Oh no, but I can't find where it goes forward. Oh no. No, too close. Too close. Oh no, it's stuck on the wrong side of the fence. Hmm. I've taken heavy damage. No, go away. Oh, I don't like your big hand. Ah. Ow. I'm not s I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing like everything else. Uh, I don't like its big hand. Oh. Whoopsies. Here, this is yours. No, Fitbit, now. Not now. Ah! Oh. Woo! Woo! I'm safe. I'm safe. I've taken a lot of damage. I didn't see the broken wall. Till it was almost too late. Alright, well, I also saw some lore. Let's go find the lore. I think it was back at the beginning. It may have been lore. It may just be treasure. Which I might be slightly interested in on account of... It might lead to me getting grenades. Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or a woman, an adult or a child, a dolphin or a Boston Terrier? Well, today is your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clemens, and I'm the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of experience, stage experience, that is, but I'm an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, swashbuckling pirate, or debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I will be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and auditions beginning on the 13th. See you in the movies. What? That's down in the dead letters. That's more confusing than most. Okay, I've taken a lot of damage. But... That warble says I'm close to... A control point. Probably. Okay. Sparking lights. Always good. Always good. I am. Ah, uh, full health. Can't help but notice, not a lot of light in here. But, I guess, enough. Whee! Who else wants some? Anybody? Oh, I'm so good. I ended the, the combat sequence already. Ooh. We're going to try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand, Jelly, where are you? 
Ah! I didn't know anyone was coming this way. Oh, I didn't get away in time. <laughs> they followed me in when I was listening to the... I, I couldn't find that guy. That was good. That was funny. Oh, Firefox has a character in one of their tabletop games who is a shape-shifting actor. That's fun. You're with me, friend. All right, fight's over. Hey, you want to listen to this with me? Okay, we're gonna try this one more time, and then we're done playing with you. Understand, Jello? Where are you from? Jumbo, up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ! Does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, dirt arrange you. Why are you here? What the hell? For what? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing, boy, boy. Eyes many cauterize and loops through in the battle. Wind and Windy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Dudes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys at research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. <laughs> Spider time is not bad. Ah! Whoa! Hey now! Ow! Oh, it doesn't stick. We got another screamer out here somewhere. Oh, it's just these kinds of screamers. Like, I'm still gonna say not phenomenal for me. Uh oh. Shush, you're so loud. Are we rotating? Oh, no. Get out of here. There we go. Why are you still shrieking? You have a lot of health. Uh oh. Oh boy. Ah! The heck is happening to me? Oh no. Oh, one of these. I need the health. Oh, what the? What got me? Is there a sniper in here? It's a little tougher. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. 
Okay. Ooh, what's down here? Darkness. Darkness is down here. Are you a light? Uh, no, this light is going to rotate over and take care of that in time. Okay. I got sniped. I'm offended. Let's get moving. Oh, I went this way. Oh! Oh, that thing blow up before I could blow it up. Ah! Oh, no, you don't. Now, I want you on my side. Fantastic. Whoa! Ah! I'm stuck. I need health. I found health. Oh, come on. All right, you're with me. Not a lot of health. Obviously, you can tell by the fact that I'm dead. I know there's no... Get out of here. I thought I got you before. Ah! I think that was on my side. Are you done? Gosh. Uh, what's in this door? Besides where I'm going. Okay, not actual stairs. Treasure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need this light to clear this goop and go through this door. 
and see a picture of this man, Director Trench. Uh. Oh, why are its ribs all backwards out of its eye? No. No, all oh, they're moving. It's like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. Uh. My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. Always. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. -er. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack Quack. 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 Huh. Well? A chain letter. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. You know, just in case. There must be a photocopier around here. What did I just get? I need to find a copy machine. Okay. That's fun. Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no, this spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you will be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send the let more letters, 30 letters in total so far, and look at her now. She owns three cars. She has all her fingers. She speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry! That's kind of all right. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven an, a valuable asset for our understanding of A010, aka the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. Did you shoot him with rubber bullets? That's bad. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the AWE written investigation. The researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Hmm. Whee! This is Director.
Dr. Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Why did I do that? Put him down. Hi? What? What did I do? Why did I do that? How? What? Why? What? How? How? Why? Um. Well, that was a big waste of my time. How did you do that? You've. Oh. Wow. The director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. You are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing like the coward that he is. I'm not the one being examined. I'm not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Sir, sir, we have to escape. We cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. Oh, that looks fun. All right. I need to name you. Look at me, Ranger. Ranger. I need to see your face, Ranger. It's in there somewhere. Come on, Bradley. It's going to be dangerous out there, Bradley, but I believe in you. How did you do that, Bradley? I'm very impressed, Bradley. Oh! Hey, Bradley. Bradley, I need a little more from you, Bradley. All right, Bradley. Uh-oh. What was that above me? Oh, not good. I can't tell if the ranger that's flying is my ranger that I uh, brought here or another ranger. Oh no, Bradley! Where are you? Back out here. Oh, that's too close to me. That was really dumb. Whoa, you're with me now. Good work, Bradley. Deployed Ranger is just your title. Bradley, you're very fast. I'm impressed. I'm going to definitely put in a good word with control for you. Which I think is me. Self, I'm very impressed with Bradley. And I think that I should reward him should he live past the next couple minutes. Thank you, Bradley. 
Uh, I probably want this. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah, what's in here? Not much. Oh. Mold. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll put you down for a minute. Alright. Whoopsies! That's... I'm too close. Alright, that's normal. Ew, it's goopy. Oh, the sounds. The sounds are so bad. Hey. Get out of here. This stuff is sideways? That doesn't seem healthy. Oh, I'm, it's on my skin now. Did I get this one? Am I done here? Oh, treasure. Yeah, uh, yeah, mold down to two. Nice. Handled. Taken care of. Let me out. Thank you. Uh, yep, this is the right way. This definitely wasn't here before. Alright. Uh. Oh, that was a short trip. Whoa! That's. That's the Moonlander. I'm sorry. Why is the Moonlander here? I need my lights back. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at... Its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit spacesuit used by NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though this suit does not bear any wearer's name, or one materialized through conversion or possibly corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. I am retracting my arms into my body. This is horrifying. I love it. The EMU is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. 
X-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. What the hecker? Okay. Not great, Bob. Oh. Oh, it's moving the lights around. Ow. Ow. Come back. I need you. Hmm. That didn't go great for me. This is this is neat. This is clever and I like it. So I need What? Oh, I see one. I'll read it later. Where are you going to go? Or are you already in position? Alright, I see what I need to do. So... That thing is held in by the darkness gunk. But pressing this button just brings us over here. Go away. Not enough over here. Oh, and over here the lights are out. Oh, jeez. Yep. I was trying to serpentine. Okay. Hmm. So the puzzle here is figuring out how to move that light so it gets the battery out. Which it's doing right now. Pick up the light! Don't leave me! Be free. No, not you. Oh, Balderdash.
Not great, Bob. Is that one gooped in? It looks gooped in. I don't have any health. Ah! Oh, why are you right here? Help, where's the light? Where is it? Okay. I'm making progress, but I have no health. Once they're in, they're done. Is that anything over there? I don't think so. Hmm. I don't. Oh! Hmm. Yeah, blue ones stay put. I see that. So lighting both the blues did not save my life. One more shot on this today. Oh, it's already got the ones I've moved. Alright, I shouldn't be flying. Okay. I wasn't doing this before. I was I was I was screaming in terror. I misinterpreted. Okay. Um I'm going to press this one, see what happens. I hate this. In a way that says it's actually really good. Holding cell? Is something in the holding cell? Should I be going into the holding cell when I do that? Because I didn't. Oh. No, I'm just leaving. Maybe up here I can turn the lights on. I didn't realize this before. Let's head back down and, and party with the alien. So we need to read our new lore and we need to explore this area and then we need to call it. That's cool. I just didn't... Sorry, I, I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head? 
the head for tails. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'll, uh, I'll take a look. So maybe it wants something to read. Or a jar. Let's just see what we can find. I saw the helmet before. It wants the helmet. I think. Right? It wants the helmet. I saw the helmet. It's it's earlier in the area. This could be what it wants. Let's give it a shot. Let's I think I just picked up a roll of toilet paper. Friend? Jars. A head. Scotch and peppers? Head. Okay, that wasn't right. It wants the helmet. It wants the helmet. It wants the helmet. Where was the helmet? Oh. I'm never gonna find that helmet. Obviously, it's not here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Something lit up, something lit up. Help, I've fallen. Uh-oh. Well, don't know what that was. Definitely not gonna get it. I have to go find the helmet. Uh, I'm gonna think about the helmet was early on. I saw the helmet. I think the only thing I want to know is, I, is it the helmet? Is it the helmet? Oh, thing from the box. Thing from the box. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, my inventory's full in every respect. It was a purple. Here, get rid of this. Get rid of this. I don't know what these are. Ooh. Ground slam after launch hits. That's kind of fun. I will try and go back and get that. It's totally the helmet. I'm so sure it's the helmet. I'm going to find the helmet. And if it's not the helmet, then I'll, I'll do something different. I really want to help my friend. My friend needs me. Seized reload efficiency. That was not as exciting. Can I stand on this? Can I stand on this? Yeah! Can I stand on this? Oh, almost. Matt, this is not stopping the video. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, friend, but you're still playing. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm platforming. I want to platform for a second. Oh, I don't know if I can stand on that. Okay. I think I'm going to stop trying to stand on things, and I'm instead going to go save. Um, This way? Yeah, this is mine. Okay, well, tomorrow when we play, we're going to go find the helmet and bring it back to the alien talking nonsense in the box. Bless you, Megan. And it's going to be real great. It's going to be real great. I, I, my friend's going to be so happy. Um, do, I, no, do, I want, do I want this? Grand Slam. That's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. Because I do like Grand Slam. I don't do it enough. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop. Oh, new lore, new lore, new lore. Thank you for reminding me. Lore, lore, lore. Oh, this is a good one. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Fra Mauro Highlands of the Moon. 32 hours after the return of the Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. 
they learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. This is amazing. This is the best bit of lore that they've had in this expansion. This is so good. The, this entire stretch here is so good. That is fascinating to me. I like it. I like that a lot. All right, let's save again. Oh, I'm gonna go get get go get get them their helmet. I'm gonna get to their helmet tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. Okay. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.